All right, so this is the next part of, um, you know, updating the uh, kitchen, and it's about the worst part. It's choosing a paint and painting the area. As you can see, we painted the uh, great room that uh, that brighter color last fall, and this green paint that we have uh, in place now just doesn't really go with it, and um, it doesn't go good with the counters that we've picked out either, so... Spent some time at Home Depot and we found this color called Mango Nectar. It's kind of like, you can't really see the color in this picture here, but it's kind of like a, um, it's like a yellow that has a peach tint to it. Um, and it goes real good with the granite and it does go real good with the, um, the paint that we put in the living area there. So, so now it's time to just start ripping everything off the walls and getting ready to, uh, do the paint. Like I said, this new stove is causing me a lot of work. Um, first I start out by just masking everything off. I decided to break the room down into three different areas that I'm going to do. Um, it's not really is that, not that much painting to do, but it's more the masking and um, taking down shelves and moving things. So, you know, I got everything masked off good and got the floor covered with uh, cardboard and plastic. So, no matter what I do, I should be safe and... And I just, uh, you know, got the paint out and started putting a uh, first coat on. And um, I think it really did take a lot more time just to get everything masked off than the painting. The painting only took a couple minutes for each area because you can pretty much see how small they are. Uh, about the biggest problem that I ran into that they actually warned me at Home Depot was the uh, this lighter color would not cover the green with one coat. So... Basically, I just had to um, put the first coat on everything, and then I just let it sit for three hours, and then I went back and put the second coat on. Now, this new bare paint is really a great, it really has very little odor to it. I'm amazed at it. It's a very low VOC paint, and um, it does go on real nice, and um, it the only thing is when you're trying to cover a darker color like that it does take two coats so there's the first coat and then there I went back and put the second coat on let that dry for another couple of hours and then carefully went back and removed all the masking tape and put the shelves back up and hung everything back up so that one area was done and you can see there, this new collar really does go good with the collar in the living room. And that was, it was kind of hard to choose a paint to uh, match granite and then match another collar. But I'm real happy with the new collar. And it's time to move over to another area. And there you can see I got everything taped off again. Took everything off the wall. You, uh, I patched all the small holes that we had to get rid of. And um, then you have to go back with soap and water and wash down the walls before you... Uh, put the coat of the new paint on so you know the biggest part of the job is really preparing it and at the same time I'm starting to make up some sketches and stuff for um, the area where the stove is all those counters will be coming out soon and all those cabinets are coming out and they're being moved out so we wind up with a uh, wider countertop across that area and I have that last cabinet in that last corner to remove and the same thing time to prep everything and get it washed up and cleaned and patched and everything all taped up and um, you know then just do two coats of paint on it and that's that's the last of it um, so you can see pretty much I'm real slow at doing jobs like this but I just took my time and didn't rush and you know everything came out good with no major mess and uh, we are really very pleased with the color combination now um, it seems to match everything good, so um, we'll see as we go. Get once we get the granite in place. This is something we really didn't expect to start for another year or two, but now that we're started, I'm really glad that we did. And that area behind the stove there is all going to be Wayne's coated, so I didn't paint that. I left that so the adhesive will at least stick to it. So basically, here it is. The painting's all done, and um, there you can see my lettuce. We've been enjoying that under the grow lights for a while now, and um, you know, this is what it looks like now, and we've been, you know, pulling some out and eating some every once in a while for a salad. So, you know, that's been real enjoyable to having uh, around. And pretty soon I'll be starting all my tomato and pepper seeds, uh, start those plants, you know, once the timing is right. And I always really enjoy this first fresh lettuce of the year. Thanks for watching. 
please subscribe.